Good morning all. My name is Priya Gupta. I am teaching object oriented programming subject and object oriented programming lab in third semester of IT department. Today we are going to discuss uh, on constructors and destructors. These type uh, constructor and destructors are special type of member functions which are used to initialize object or which are used to destroy the initialized object. So um, to how we are going to implement these constructor and destructor uh, in a program is uh, I'm going to explain this by using one example so here the, uh, in this program we are going to count the number of objects how many objects are created or uh, I'm going to use a counter or a ob uh, or a variable to count the number of objects how many objects are created whenever an object is created one line will be displayed that will uh, give the number uh, which uh, object is created like I'm going uh, if I create a uh, first object then one line is printed object one is created in the last of the program I will destroy all the uh, objects that I have created by using destructor so coming to the uh, coming to the program of this uh, constructor and destructor here uh, the first line is very known uh, the header file that is ilstream.h after that I have uh, initialized one variable that is count the, uh, this count will count how many objects are created it will work as a counter in this program so my first class is count destructor this will count the count is, is my class name so uh, in the public mode I have created one constructor the special feature of constructor is that the name of constructor must be seen as the name of the class so uh, here is uh, this is my constructor in this constructor I have just incremented my count variable just to count the number of object how many are created so this is my constructor complete constructor in this I'm going to add one line um, which constructor is created Uh, this uh, the second one is my destructor the difference between constructor and destructor is that constructor will always uh, initialize the object and the destructor will always destroy the created object the tilde sign is used just before the name of the destructor or uh, uh, this is also uh, the name of destructor is same as the name of the class in which the first destructor is going to be created the work of destructor is to destroy the already created or already initialized object so uh, here the complete class is closed by using a, a semicolon or we can say that terminator now coming to the main function in the main function I have made uh, three objects these three objects are a b and c whenever every every uh, whenever each object is created this object creation will call the constructor automatically when the object is created this constructor will be called whenever the constructor is called these lines are executed in this execution the count number of this count variable will be increased as uh, one by one so when I write count dist or when the compiler will read count dist a this constructor will be called and the value of count will be increased here the uh, initially the value of count is zero so whenever the count a is created 
this value will be incremented by 1 and uh, the new value of count will be 1. When count b is compiled, like again the constructor is called and the value of count is incremented by 1 and the new value of count will be 2. Similarly for third object, when count dist c, that is third object is created, this again this constructor will be called and the value of count will be incremented by 1 and the new value will, will be 3. Now, we will uh, destroy all these all these uh, created objects to create uh, to destroy any object we will do uh, we will call the uh, destructor so just uh, it's it is uh, very simple to destroy any object we just need to go out of the um, out of the main or out of the scope then this constructor will automatically be called we do not need to call it uh, like a simple program whenever the, whenever the function goes out of a scope or when the program clo closes the constructor will be clo uh, will be called and all the objects that are created in the program will be destroyed by this destructor so we will see how this constructor and destructor are created in our program so coming to the compiler uh, this is my program to implement constructor and destructor by using a counter to count the object how many objects are created this is so here you can see this is my constructor and this is my destructor so I am going to compile this program this program does not include any syntax or error so here you can see in the uh, output screen in the main block object created equals to 0 meaning object 1 is created because I have initialized my count variable by 0 and I am going I am using the post increment so the value will be printed first after that the variable will be incremented so here object created equals to 0 then the second object is created and object created equals to 1 meaning second object is created similarly for object 3 object 2, two is uh, equals object created equals to the complete block is executed that's why uh, we have written object 1 when the object is destroyed the destructor will be called automatically here you can see in the uh, object 3 is created and when the object goes out of scope the ob uh, destructor is automatically called so uh, object destroyed here uh, the destructor is called here so this is the way in which we can implement the constructor and destructor in our class. Thank you.